Yo, what's up, dudes? <laughs> What's up? So I wanted to come on and talk about this. Some of you have seen this. This is the all-new Les Paul Custom for 2020 by Epiphone. Um, and, you know, I think when this when this came out, it well, first of all, there's one huge change. And it's not the headstock, although that is a huge change that I really, really like. But, um, you know, when you think about the, the Les Paul Custom... <laughs> I really think of like uh, really like five or six things that really make it the custom versus the studio or the standard. So the first thing I always think of is the binding upgrade, right? There's a massive binding upgrade versus the studio. The studio, no binding. You get to the standard, you get single ply on the front, nothing on the back, single ply on the neck, and nothing on the headstock. When you get to the custom, it's binding o plenty, right? You get like seven or nine ply on the front, four, you know, five ply on the back, something like that. Single ply along the neck, and then a multi ply. I think it's a, it's a five ply on the headstock, so binding all over. And that's a much more expensive step to take in it whenever you add binding. Uh, so certainly there's a huge binding upgrade. The next thing, the diamond, the split diamond. When I think of the custom, I always think of the split diamond. Um, even the SG custom has that same split diamond. It's not quite as big as the one on the Gibson Les Paul custom. But, you know, it's uh, it, it's still, I'm glad it's there. and doesn't just say, like, Les Paul on it or something. That would look too weird. Uh, next up, I would say would be, um, and this is, you know, not everybody agrees on this, speed knobs. For me, the Les Paul Custom needs to have speed knobs on it. Uh, not everyone would agree. Uh, they didn't do all, they didn't always do speed knobs, but to me, speed knobs, right? The, the perfectly cylindrical, uh, knobs. And then I think, um... You know, from there, gold hardware. The gold hardware is, uh, you know, definitely... And, and I'm not a huge fan of gold hardware. I don't think a lot of people are. I think, you know, the, it, it's like a... Sort of like a 70-30 group, you know. It's like 30% of people that don't mind it at all and 10% that love it. But everyone else is sort of like, really, gold? Mm, feels like a little too much. But on a, on a, on a custom, on a Les Paul custom, an SG custom you got to have it. Now, again, that's not always. I've seen it with black. I've seen it with chrome or probably nickel. But there's just something about the, you know, the uh, the gold hardware that sort of pulls together, for me, the custom. And then next up from there, I would say the block inlay, including the first fret block, which you don't get on the you know, on a dot inlay or a trapezoid inlay, they almost never put the, you know, a marker on the first fret. But when you get the custom, you get the big block inlay. Yeah, there you go. First fret marker and block inlay all the way up. Not split block. Full block. Full block inlay. And, and this was all leading up to this. <laughs> that block inlay has to be in an ebony fingerboard. Now, again, not everyone will agree with that. And they've done baked maple uh, on the Custom Classic, and they've done, let me think about this, uh, well, certainly rosewood is probably the, the biggest alternative wood. Um, but really, it, it, it's in rich light, but really it's ebony. Ebony, ebony, ebony. And thank God for sights. <laughs> A lot of people were like, why is rosewood so rare? It's not. There was another wood that was like, very like rosewood, that was very rare and illegal to, to ship. And people were just writing down rosewood, so they had to just ban all rosewood. But Guitar Next got an exception, but it's too late. Everyone shipped, uh, switched their manufacturing, and now everybody's doing uh, ebony. And I was really happy to see ebony on uh, this uh, uh, 2020 series. And it's also on the SG Custom. And uh, as I understand it, it is uh, pretty much a thing now. They're going to be doing ebony 
uh, on the on the custom models. Uh, I think also the moderns will have uh, ebony on it. So um, I was just so happy to see that. And of course, the the headstock transformation. I was never crazy about that other headstock. This is not exactly like the Gibson headstock, but damn, it is a lot closer than the. Um, uh, than the prior headstock which i just thought was too busy too ornate uh, some people really like that headstock i never did this is more like the original epiphone sort of like oversized you know mustache or open book or whatever you want to call it um but i, I really like that a lot better than the the other one that had the cut corners and a much wider cut in and out on the side a little bit straighter on the sides, and, you know, obviously the, the corners aren't cut. Uh, I am a fan. I'm a fan of the change. Uh, and there you have it. It's all mahogany construction. And uh, the, the pickups are... Um, the pickups are uh, Pro, Pro Buckers, uh, Epiphone Pro Buckers. Whenever you get a Les Paul, that's the first thing you have to do. Turn the, turn the, uh, you can't turn it all the way off. I mean, you can, but it's. But I, I like it sli just on a little bit. Good night. <laughs> hey. See, already you're having fun with this thing. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and then here's the neck. Now they, I, this has um, been a long time coming for me. I've really wanted, I've been like praying every night to the, to the wood gods. <laughs> Woody, splint, uh, bark, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> leaf, right? One would have to be named leaf. Garrett, no, no, just leaf. <laughs> All right, let's um, we can switch this sound up a little bit. That's that's admittedly the, the, my go-to sound, but we can we can go to something not not so crazy like this is um, this is just a DV Mark uh, head, um, but it's it's got a little. Um, let me see if I can get this to come out here. Uh, yeah, so it's got a. <laughs> There it is, just clean. And then I have a, this little tube screamer. I'll just bring the drive down. And 
and then with a little bit more crunch on it, I'll bring the level down. <laughs> about this um, neck pickup is it doesn't really get muddy and it's noticeably less hot And then, of course, both. One more, one more sound, and we'll call it a day. I like this. Um, it's this behave lead. This is a uh, Marshall split rig. <laughs> Les Paul Custom 2020 edition. Uh, they come in um, ebony as well as the white. Bobby has the ebony. He checked. He saw this one and was like, "Dude, I gotta, I gotta get me one of those." So maybe I can get his over here. We can do a side by side. They're identical in every way except for the, the color. Oh, see, who who wore it better? Thanks, People Magazine. All right, dudes, there you have it. Epiphone, Les Paul Custom 2020. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And there you have it. All right. Well, as always, thanks so much for hanging out. Rock on. <laughs>